We treat them like a violin, but we use them like a pickup truck. Sacramento Metro Fire's UH-1 Huey helicopters have been busy this week. The special aircraft did nearly a dozen rescues because of major flooding caused by the recent storms. These helicopters were sent to some rescue operations on Highway 99 and other surrounding roads in Sacramento County during New Year's Eve weekend. We ended up having some significant rescues in that time period. And basically, we're just going from rescue to rescue, trying to pull people out of a dangerous area wherever we could. Livecopter 3 footage from Sunday shows floodwaters all over Highway 99. Nearby Dillard Road was also submerged in water. Three people died due to the dangerous flooding in Sacramento County. So the big question for many, were cars able to get onto Dillard because it was not blocked correctly? We asked Sacramento County officials for an answer. Dillard Road was closed ahead of the major flooding because we knew that that was a likely imminent result was that it would end up flooded. The county tells us two signs, one saying flooded and the other saying road closed were placed in the middle of the road around 4 p.m. Saturday. Those signs had bright colors and reflective tape, so the county says the closure should have been obvious. The county also says roads are not fully barricaded for safety reasons, so if cars were able to get through, why was there no one to stop them? Because we can't necessarily have a physical presence at each one of these road closures just because there were so many, um, unless it's reported to us that people are driving around the barriers or that somehow the barriers were moved, we may not know until we can get back to that location. Caltrans was in charge of the Highway 99 closure, which they tell us happened after midnight because they were surprised by the amount of water. The California Highway Patrol responded first and took action. The river, um, it rose so quickly, um, it, 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 it rose really fast, that then it became a point where there was, it was impassable. And so they shut the road down themselves and waited for Caltrans to arrive on scene to put in a road closure. With more wet weather on the way, each agency says they're working to ramp up their resources. It's something that we're certainly looking at as we come to or near to these next set of storms is how we can effectively manage um, to keep people safe. Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. Both Sacramento County and the CHP tell us they also warned about the potential for road flooding through social media posts, and that included their seasonal slogan, Turn Around, Don't Drown.